welcome to 2023, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Talking Paint Detailing and Automotive Film Industry Podcast. To start off 2023, I wanted to first say thank you for listening to our podcast. Our goal is to continue to support and grow our industry with tools and information to help businesses grow and scale and to ultimately become successful. So uh, thank you for listening and participating. First, I want to take a second and thank the businesses that make this podcast possible. The first is Detailing Growth. If you're a detailing, ceramic coating, window tint, or paint protection film shop, and you want to get more clients, customers, and higher ticket jobs, Detailing Growth can help transform your business with an entire business support system. Find out more at detailinggrowth.com. And then we have have havepolisherwilltravel.com. This is my own apparel brand. We have several different t-shirts and hat designs that are centered around our detailing and film industry. Your support of that brand directly helps to grow this podcast. Check it out at havepolisherwilltravel.com. This episode is about creating an unmatched customer experience. Creating a great customer experience is key to any successful business. It's not just about providing quality products and service. It's about offering a more unique and memorable experience that makes customers want to come back for more. Our goal in our shop is always to create an experience that is unbeatable by any other business. Every step of the way in our process matters. Here are some of the key factors that help to create that experience that you can use in your business. Communicate better. Make sure every interaction with your customer is positive. The way you interact with customers from the moment they walk in the door to the moment they leave, the first time they talk to you, will determine how likely they are to return. This includes during your pre-call, education phase, proposal, close, and during the job. Here's a great example. Each of our clients has two touch points during the course of the work being done on their vehicle. We'll take two sets of pictures and we'll send them to them during the process. Usually it's of the foam can and wash and prep phase. And then we'll also show the car being polished, having film applied, uh, coating applied. And we don't tell the client that this is gonna come. This enables me to be a surprise and to take their attention in a more in-depth way. Allows me to be involved with the client on a level that they weren't expecting. But I'm also going to immediately notify clients of any issues that we find. But before I contact them, I always make sure I have the solution on hand that's going to be the least impactful for the client and having to inconvenience them communicate and ensure that every client has an experience that they can rave about. And that means that you need to be on point with phone calls, emails, and text messages. If you can't, you need to get a system in place that does. Make working with your shop easier. Simplification is everything. Simplify your packages, options, workflow, your in-shop process. All of those things matter more than you think. I don't give my clients six PPF options. I give them three, a full front, a track package, and full body. And I make it easy to understand what's in each package. And I always steer them towards what makes sense without overselling them. This takes the am I doing the right thing completely out of the question because you're providing a solution for your client. Personalize everything. Personalize these experiences as much as as you can. When a client calls, I give them my full attention and I ask to hear about the problems that they're looking to solve in some form or another. I make suggestions based upon the information that they provide me. It doesn't make sense for me to pitch a lifetime warranty coating on a car that gets driven 2,000 miles a year and sits in a garage, right? I take the time and I write them a personalized non-cookie cutter follow-up email. I review what we spoke about and then I include the pricing options that I suggest for that particular service that they're looking for and I also will typically find a reason to give them a customized upsell shortly thereafter usually after we get the car in the shop or slightly before they come to drop it off 
Here's a great example of how I do that. And I'll include this in an email or a text message. Let's assume that I've spoken to this person and they had a Model Y and then I sold them PPF. So here's what I would send to them, quote, so I know we previously spoke about the PPF package on your Model Y. I know you were planning on low mileage for this year, but I know that PennDOT is planning on working on the interchange of 422 and 76 this year, and it's gonna be covered in ground up asphalt for a solid five months, and you're gonna be driving on that every day. And it's gonna absolutely destroy your rocker panels. It's also gonna be started before the salt goes away, which means that the plows are gonna be running over it and making it worse. I think we should add the rocker panels for your Model Y. This does a few things. It lets them know I was listening. I talked about the PPF package we spoke about, and then I also mentioned that I was listening to the amount of mileage they were doing. It lets them know that I care about them and their vehicle, and it makes them feel much safer spending that money in most cases because you're bringing a logical solution to a real problem, and you are connected to their world. And the more that you can be connected and relate to somebody, the easier it is to convert. And this is the final and one of the most important ones, and that's customer service. Always provide exceptional customer service. This should include knowledgeable and helpful staff who are always willing to go above and beyond. Note, that's not an excuse for you to bleed labor on being obsessed over every single detail. Your full attention should be devoted to that client when they engage with you. People know when you're not giving them your full attention. I offered a family a free consult on their vehicle. It was a Tesla. They came over as a family. It was son, husband, and wife. I set up my lobby as a conference room. I put out water, educational material from Ceramic Pro, and I used the Ceramic Pro heat box to sell them tint and showed them a mini hood with the ceramic coating demo. I gave them 40 minutes of my time and then the next day they booked $10,000 in work. When your customers come to visit you in your shop, you or the person in charge of customer facing interactions should be undistracted and dedicated to serving that client. And the service doesn't stop at pre-sale, it continues after. All of our clients are given the following information both in person and they're given this information in a follow up message as well. They're given explicit care instructions. They're given verified Ceramic Pro warranty documentation. They're given sales brochures for other products, including the home coatings that Ceramic Pro sells. And I'm sure that other manufacturers sell and offer various things. You should be offering a full brochure package to anybody that comes and picks up a vehicle. We include a two week follow up appointment booked at the time of pickup. All services, no exception. We wanna see them back in the shop. We wanna check the work. We wanna let them know that we care. We send them a full recommended product list via email with links to where they can purchase those items to help care for their vehicle. And they're gonna get an email with all of the above information as well. I hope some of this information was helpful. I know it's not super crazy in depth, but I thought that these were some really important keys key points to touch on for everybody. So if you enjoyed this podcast and you found this information useful, please let us know. You can find this podcast on Apple and you can find it on Spotify. We're going to be continuing to syndicate across multiple networks. So we appreciate your support. Please visit our sponsor web pages at detailinggrowth.com and have polisherwilltravel.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And until next time, we'll see you later.